Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So a lot of people ask me how I actually record the audio for my gameplay footage, which I record on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. There are several methods of doing this. For example, you could use an application like OBS. However, the method that I'm going to use is a bit more resource light and it doesn't affect gameplay as much. For example, I've used OBS to record Warhammer 2 and that seems to affect the actual frame rate. It doesn't capture all of the frames. I'm going to be showing you how to do it using the screenshot application. So the screenshot tool Tool is basically the same as QuickTime. So if you go to your applications folder and you go to utilities, then you can find the screenshot tool here. So I'm going to double click on this and just show you that when you double click on this, you get the option to record your full screen. So the problem is that we have the option to use the microphone of the computer or any external microphone. But what we really want is the actual gameplay sounds that are coming out of the game itself. And in order to do that, we need a virtual audio driver. So today we're going to be using Black Hole. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for this particular website. So all we need to do here is to add our email address and name, and then we're going to get an email with a free Mac download of the software. So once you've signed up, you just check your email for a link to the software. I've clicked my link now and I'm going to be downloading this software now. So typically I just use the Black Hole 2 channel version because I only record in stereo. So I'm going to be using this today just to show you how this works. So I've downloaded the software and what I'm going to do is to open this now. We can go to Finder and go to the Downloads folder and then double click on this PKG file. Here we're going to press continue and continue agree, then install, type in your password, and then click close. When I installed this, I can instantly see that there are new settings that are actually available. We can now see that there's a black hole option under input and output under the sound settings. So to get to the sound settings, what you can do is click the volume button here and go to sound preferences, or you can find it under system preferences under all, and then under the sound button here, we're going to get to our sound settings. So in order to record the gameplay footage from your computer, whether it's a game or just the screen audio, let's say you are recording something from YouTube, you could actually record it using this method, not just any game. What you basically need to do is to output it. So basically order the game will output into black hole. And what we also need to do is to change the input to black hole. So once those two things are set, then basically what will happen is that any audio that would normally come from your computer would automatically be recorded and picked up by black hole. So for example, if we get our screenshot tool out, what we showed earlier, what you can do is click on options here, and then we're going to select our audio source here. So it's asking for the microphone. And if we basically set that to black hole two channel, and then we can actually click on record entire screen. If I mouse over the empty space on the screen, I'll have this camera icon. And basically, if I click on the actual blank space, this icon at the top of your bar will appear. And if I press stop here, then that video file will be generated. I've asked it to be put into the screenshots folder here. So this folder here will contain everything that I've played on the screen, including the video and audio of this entire display. So the main issue with this particular method is that because the audio is being outputted into Black Hole 2 channel, it means that actually personally you cannot hear the sound because it's just being rerouted into the virtual sound driver. You as a game player can't hear what's going on. So in order to fix that, what you need to do is to go into the audio MIDI settings. So if you go to Finder and you go to Applications and then go to Utilities, the same place where we found Screenshot, we also have another tool called Audio MIDI Setup. So I'll double click on this now. And this basically allows us to set up all of the different audio devices. So when install black hole, you'll be able to click on this thing called the multi output device here, or you can actually go ahead and create a multi output device. And basically what this means is that instead of just outputting to a single black hole, what you can also do is to output to the MacBook Air speakers, or if you've got some other headphones or Bluetooth headphones, then you can actually add those too. You can actually add multiple devices here, you can have your MacBook Air speakers, you can have a pair of headphones, if you've got them connected, they will appear here. And basically the audio will be routed through the black hole two channel and also your speakers or headphones or whatever. And that means that you'll be able to hear the sound. So when we double click on the screenshot, we're going to have the option to record straight to black hole two channel. However, when we go to sound preferences and output we have the option here to switch to the multi output device, that's going to allow the gameplay or desktop audio to go through the black hole two channel virtual audio driver, and also your speakers or headphones too. So lastly, the screenshot tool, as far as I'm aware, is pretty much identical to the QuickTime tool. So if I go to my applications folder, and I double click on QuickTime player, there's also an option here, I can also click new screen recording here, I believe that this screenshot tool is identical to the QuickTime player tool. We have the same options here, we can record straight from the black hole audio. And functionally, this is the same type of video and audio recording. Anyway, this is how I do gameplay recording on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.